motherfuckers, you know, out there, you know what I'm saying? Um, the ways of Esau, okay? But it says, you that are troubled, rest with us. So you're supposed to find rest in this. We are reading the scriptures, reading the Old Testament, reading the New Testament, talking about Yahweh Shai. You're supposed to find rest in this. We're talking about the kingdom of heaven. When you read, when you hear about the kingdom of heaven, that's that's supposed to you're supposed to be at home think, dreaming about that. You know, laying in bed dreaming about how the kingdom of heaven is going to be when you when when Yahweh Shai comes back and actually takes down our takes down our enemy and lifts up his people. Okay, you're supposed to be dreaming about that and thinking about how beautiful that's going to be. Imagine imagine a world without Esau ruling. But 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 with Yahweh Shai ruling. Hey, I said MC. <laughs> Come on, bro. We can't even imagine a place where. I mean, we can kind of, but kind of, kind of, kind of. We still can't imagine how beautiful the earth is gonna be without Esau ruling, man. Word, bro. So we supposed to rest. When you hear this, you're supposed to rest with the prophets and rest with the truth. You know, that's why you got. That's why you got brothers waking up on the four corners of the earth. You got brothers listening right here. You got brothers listening, writing comments on the comment boards. You know, big enough the prophets. You got a brother in Central Africa. Yep, that popped up. Uh-uh. Yep. Yeah, call all Shai. Yeah, call all Yahweh Shai. Now, that's the, that's the Lord. That's the spirit of Yahweh Shai. His spirit is, is coming upon his, his people, the elect. Go ahead, uh, you got something? Yeah, I got a couple more pieces from there. Yeah, bet. Uh, back to 7, first does, or second does only 1 and 7. And to you who are troubled, rest with us when the Lord Yahweh Shai shall be revealed in heaven, so like from heaven with his mighty angels. Uh -huh. And flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not the Most High, and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Right, because we, because like we was going in earlier about an hour ago, we was talking about how he's coming back in the chariots. Uh, he's not going to meet you as a man either. So when he comes back, he's going to be, he's going to be pissed off, for lack of a better term. Okay, so he's going to come back with flaming, flames of fire. Yeah, scripture say like a true woman. That war cry. You yeah. yeah, you're going to be screwed. Yo, imagine, yo, you ever been so, yo, man, I want, I want that, I want, I want to feel what that's like, that you, that you, that you, you have someone's anger pent up in you, that you just scream at the top of your lungs and you're able to actually, you know, slay, I want that, bro, I want the Lord to, come on, man, that's what you should be asking the Lord for, man, to actually, you be one of the men out there that's able to be part of the, part of the, um, the host, okay, that's something you should want, to, to, to be able to exact the judgment of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai in that day, read that, read that again. So we can hear it again. Verse 8, in flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not the Most High, uh -huh. and that obey not the gospel of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Right, wait, so we're taking vengeance on them that know not the Heavenly Father. Go ahead. Who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence, from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of His power. <laughs> You're going to be punished with everlasting destruction in the presence of the Lord, man. And what is that? Everlasting power? And from the glory of his power. Oh, glory of his power. You see that? We're talking about violence here, brothers. This is in the New Testament. We're talking about uh, uh, extreme violence that on a high level. Like a loving God to me. That's not sound like a loving God. That sounds like a very wrathful God. All right? Yes, he is very merciful, but you have to understand that there's two sides to everything. Ooh, that's, God. that's another thing. It's a, yeah, he got, he got, he got love and, and, and uh, mercy. But who? To who? To who? You know? To whom? <laughs> to his elect. That's who. Okay? To his elect. So that's why it, the scriptures say make your call on election short. Because you want you don't want to feel the wrath of Yahweh by Shimei al -Shai. When the Lord comes back, it's not gonna be no games out here no more. Alright? All this all this wicked shit that's going on out here is gonna be put to note in a blink of an eye. And only only his elect and the elect of, of the of, of the other nations who are going to be allotted for slavery is the only, only ones that are going to survive. And you don't want to be allotted for slavery, bro. Okay? You want to pray that you're an Israelite. No matter what you look like, if you're hearing his words and, 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 it's, and it's gelling with you somewhat, you better pray that you're an Israelite no matter what you look like. Because you might be. All right? The Lord might have mercy on you. Because you're going to have Israelites that look like different nations, too. You might look like a, a cracker. You might look like... You might look like a, a, a East Indian, okay? So you have to pray. If you're hearing these words and you believe, and you always believed in so-called Jesus, you better start rethinking re everything. And, and maybe that, hey, what they're saying is true. He's only coming for the Israelites. That's what they're reading. It says it in the Bible. Lord willing, I'm an Israelite. You might be. You might be. What else you got? Man says verse 12 when he shall come to be glorified in the saints and to be admired in all them that believe because our testimony among you was believed 
in that day. That's right. He's gonna glorify in the saints. And that's what that's what he's coming with that vengeance. Matter of fact, I want to get um, um is, is Ezekiel chapter twenty five verse twelve to fourteen. Yeah, man. He's gonna glorify. He's gonna glorify in the saints, bro. The the the, the elect of Israel, in other words, the one that is doing the, giving the testimony. Because what the, the disciples, the, the the apostles, the disciples that became apostles, all right, those were the ones giving the testimony, and then people believed on them. What they were saying, they were believing on the testimony of Yahushua, which is prophecy. <laughs> But they, they, they were giving their personal accounts because they were with them. Right, they, right. they were converting souls through, through, through experience, like what they were telling them. No, this happened. I seen him do this. I seen him do that. He told us this was going to happen. This is it, it, that's going to happen. You know, and that's what we're doing now. That's what we're, we're doing. Doing the same we don't thing. see it. We're just yeah. reading the accounts exactly. and we believe in it. Okay, we're reading all the accounts in the Old and New Testament and we believe in it because everything else that has come to pass, this must be true as well. Okay, and you know what else must be true? When, when the Lord raises up his men to take down our enemy, okay? That must be true as well. Go ahead. This is Ezekiel chapter 25, verse 12. Thus saith the Lord power, because that Edom had dwelt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance, mm -hmm. and had greatly offended and avenged himself upon them. Right, because Edom, the so-called white man, he took vengeance upon us, okay? He he took us down, and he, he uh, and when the, when the um, Babylonians were, were rising up, Okay, he didn't have he didn't have no problem with it. He was cheering them on. All right, the ancient ones. Okay, he was cheering them on. He wanted us to fall. He wanted us to fall. And the same thing now. Okay, he he has he has great pride in the downfall of so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American men. All right, he wants to see us at the bottom of the bottom because he knows deep down inside that we the children of the Lord. Read that again and read on. Ezekiel twenty-five verse twelve. Thus saith the Lord, power. Because that Edom hath dwelt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance, uh -huh. and hath greatly offended, and revenged himself upon them. Uh -huh. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Power, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom, and will cut off man and beast from it. Right. And I will make it desolate from Teman, mm -hmm. and they of the Dan shall fall by the sword. So the Lord is going to stretch his hand out upon Edom. All right? So you have to understand how... How is he going to stretch his hand out? What is what is he going to use to to stretch to, to 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 cause pain upon Edom? What what tool is he going to use? Read on, verse fourteen. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my pit, my people Israel. Oh, so he's going to use the Israelites to to to, 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 to as as the hand that he's going to use to stretch out upon the nation of Edom. I got you, he's going to use the Israelites. Okay, go ahead, read it. It's Jeremiah fifty one. Verse 20. Well, actually, hold that. Hold that real quick. Let me finish that. Yeah, perfect. Go ahead. Read on a little bit more. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. Israelites, okay, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and confused with the faces that may look like other nations, but stem from the seed of these people. Go on. And they shall do an Edom according to my anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, saith Yahweh power. So they, the Israelites, are going to do in Edom according to the Lord's anger, according to the Lord's fury, thus saith the Lord power. Okay? So that's what's going to end up happening. He's going to use the men of Israel to cause violence upon the nation of Edom. Okay? Because they did it to us. He's going to use us to do it back to them. Read that in Jeremiah 51. It's Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 20. Start, start at 19. It's Jeremiah 51, verse 19. 51 verse 19 the por the portion of Jacob is not like them for he is the former of all things uh -huh. and Israel is the rod of his inheritance uh -huh. and yeah. Yahweh of hosts is his name right Israel is the rod of the Lord's inheritance so Israelites the so-called blessed Hispanics and Native Americans and the confusion of faces that stem from these seeds are the rod of the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai's inheritance are going to gain the kingdom of heaven go on Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. The Lord says that we are his battle axe and weapons of war. So he's going to use us as tools of war, okay? Like a sword, a battle axe, a mace, okay? He's going to use his men as weapons of war, a tool on, on specifically the nation of Edom, the so-called white men. Go on. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations. For with thee he will break in pieces the nations with us, all right? Lord willing, we are part of that number. He's going to use us to break in pieces the so-called white man and his armies. Go ahead. And with thee 
Will I destroy kingdoms? And he's going to destroy the kingdom, not just the so-called white man's kingdom, but the kingdoms of all these other nations as well, too. He's going to use us to bring them down via violence. Okay, go ahead. Verse 21. And with thee will I break in pieces the horse and his rider. Uh-huh. And with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. So he's going to break down your power right out of your hand. Okay? He's going to take, he's going to use our, the, the most feeble men, okay, the most lowest of the low in the earth right now, the so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans, and he's going to use you to take, he's going to use us to take you out of power, okay, you understand? And it says what, the chariots and his rider, that's akin to what? You, you, all your, all your, your planes and shit, your, your, um, your fighter jets, your tanks, your MRAPs, we going to use, he's going to use mere men, okay, to take you out of power, and we're going to break in pieces the chariot and his rider, you understand that? Imagine that. He's going to use us. He's going to give us superpowers. And we're going to break in pieces the chariot and his rider. He's going to take out F F-22s out of the sky. And we're going to sling them into the goddamn Pacific Ocean. Okay? We're gonna, an MRAP is going to come down the street. And we're going to stop it with our hand. We're going to stop it with our mind. Just like that movie, the, the first Hulk movie. Well, not the first one, but the one they made in like early 2000. Yep, Hulk, I think so, Mo. Yeah, we're we just hopping up. We're jumping up and down. Time. We're going to use us, we're going to be on that level like that. We're going to be hand cocked out here. Okay, read on. With verse 22, with thee also will I break in pieces, man and woman. Ooh. And with thee will I break in pieces, old and young. Oh, shit, so man and women, old and young, okay? So you're all going to get it. So if you're a female or you're a male, you're going to get broken into pieces. If you're not part of this, if you're not part of this um uh, 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 truth, all right, if you're not part of the Lord's elect, you're gonna get broken in pieces. All nations, it says nations. So it's not just Edom. It's our nation too, you know that, right? It's Israelites also, they're gonna get broken in pieces. You do know that, right? Amongst all these other nations as well too. Men, women, old, young, go ahead. And with thee will I break in pieces the young man and the maid. All right, so 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 you you know, teenagers and shit, all right, you, you, know, you know, 10 year olds, you know, uh, uh, 15 year olds, all right? You're gonna get broken to pieces too, young women. All right, little 10 year old girls, gonna get broken into pieces. No mercy, no mercy. Matter of fact, get that in Ezekiel uh, 9. No mercy is gonna be shown onto you. The Lord's, this is, this is what, this is the end time, this is the end game. The prophecies that are coming at the end, all right? Amongst all the nuclear missiles we've been talking about, amongst the chariots that we were talking about earlier today, this is part of it as well too. It's gonna to be a lot of violence. Is there more? I think so. Verse uh, 23, I also, so like, I will also break in pieces with thee, the shepherd and his flock, and with thee will I break in pieces the husbandman and his yoke of oxen, and with thee will I break in pieces captains and rulers. Huh, all right, the husband, uh, the flock, all right, the shepherd and his flock, you, you fucking pastors out there, you know, leading everybody astray. Yeah, okay. You and your congregation is going to be destroyed. With a Kamehameha. With a Big Bang attack. Okay, a final flash right on that whole fucking church. False prophets, false, these false Israelites. Well, not false Israelites, but these yeah, I know Israelites that, that just want to be halfway in it. Like, oh, well, we know we're Israelites, but we're going to teach bullshit. We're going to teach that the mark of the beast is spiritual, even though it's clearly a physical thing, okay? You're going to get destroyed along with your whole flock, okay? The whole thing. Okay, and um, and what was the last part of it? What did it say? The last part? Uh, the, the captains and rulers. Captains and rulers. All right. <laughs> yeah. All, all, all the rulers of these nations. Because Yahweh's he's gonna have, he's gonna hold the crown of all the nations. He can, he's not gonna be like he have a stack of crowns on his head. But in other words, he's gonna take down all the other nations, right. and he's gonna use us to do so. That's what Revelation says. He saw many crowns upon his head. Yep. Because he's gonna take the, the rulership from all these, all these captains, and all yep. these kingdoms. Take. You're not gonna have like, 18 crowns on this <laughs> Stacked up for shit. Yeah, yeah one is like double folding. I pick it up for the back. Nah, bro. That's metaphorical. In other words, all you kingdoms, all you rulers, are gonna be taken out of power by violence. Go ahead. Yeah, one real quick before this. Yes. This is James chapter two, verse thirteen. It says, "For he shall have judgment without mercy mm. that has showed no mercy, Ooh. and mercy rejoices against judgment." So those that have, you gonna have. Say it again, bro. Oh, my bad. I gotta get James that. 2 and 13. Yeah. For he shall have judgment without mercy uh -huh. that has showed no mercy. So he's gonna have judgment without mercy that have showed no mercy. Esau. Okay, you Edomites. 
so-called white man. You show no mercy. Not only have you, you have not shown mercy unto the animals, unto your own people, unto the other nations, but you didn't show mercy unto the Israelites, bro. That's fucked up, bro. The children of the Most High, you got to pay for that. Okay, go ahead. This is Ezekiel chapter 9 and verse 5. And to the others he said in my hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Uh-huh. So he said to the angel, he said, he said, Go ye through the city and smite. In other words, kill. All right? Use violence. All right? Don't use your words. Don't use your words. Use violence. All right? Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. So in other words, you can't be out there with no, with, with, with no emotions, bro. Okay? And the Lord's gonna take your emotions off of off of brothers in that day. Okay, because we're not gonna be on no on no on no fleshly type of shit. The Lord's gonna raise up his elect to, to, to be complete kill, kill, killing machines. This is in the end days. This is not something that's gonna happen, you know. Uh, 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 hold on, let me, let me stop real quick before I, before I make myself look stupid. All I'm saying is, he's not gonna, he's not, the Lord's saying that for for when the Lord when the end comes, okay? The end come, may come next week. I mean, there's a lot of prophets that need to come to pass, but we, we're trying to hasten the day over here, so it may come next week. But it, it says what? Yeah, it may come now. You're right. Okay? But what we're saying is, read it again. Let not the eyes spare. And to the others he said in my hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. Right. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Right, because what? When that day comes, which may come real soon, although there is plenty of prophecies that need to come to pass, okay? When it comes, he's not gonna have a spirit on us, uh, happy, emotional, and try to try to be merciful on, on, on to the Edomites over here, this Edomite family over here, or onto on, on this nigga bitch right here. No, no, no. He says, "Let not thy eyes spare, neither have ye pity." You're gonna you're gonna slice through everything. Read on. Slay utterly old and young, uh -huh. both maids and little children, and what? And women. All right, because what? Just like he said, just like the brother read in, in Jeremiah chapter fifty-one. Old, young, men, women, everybody going to get it, okay? Everybody going to get it. EBG, everybody gets it, okay? You're going to get a hammer and, to the and, back of your head. In that day, those people are going to be equal. Because they're all going to receive that, that same judgment. Yeah, yeah, equal left and right. <laughs> hey, that's why these women want equal rights. Yeah, yeah you're going to get it. You're going to get left too. <laughs> it's going to be equality of death out here. Bro. No, no, it's gonna, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be the, 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 the um, the violence is gonna show no, no it's not gonna see color. <laughs> we ain't nobody gonna see no color right here. Everybody gonna get it. All right, if you're not part of this, you're gonna get it. Read on. But come not near any man upon whom is the thawa, and begin at my sanctuary. All right. So if you don't have the mark of exemption, of exemption, guess what? You're gonna get caught into the into the violence that, that we just read in, in those first two verses. Okay. And it's going to start where? At the sanctuary of what? And begin at my sanctuary. That means Israel, brothers. So if you're an Israelite and you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, guess what? He's going to start with you first. Israelites are going to get it first. Okay? Israelites are going to get it first because you Israelites are completely wicked. Completely wicked. You've done nothing but, but piss the Lord off in your wicked ways. The way you live, your way your communities are in. Um, um, read verse 9. If you still got it. Read verse 9. Verse 9. And it says, Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 9, Then said he unto me, The iniquity of the house of Israel and Judah is exceeding great, and the land is full of blood, and the city full of perverseness. Mm -hmm. For they say, The Lord hath not forsaken the earth, and the Lord seeth not. Right, because you Israelites out here, you completely forsaken Yahweh Shimei Shai and his ways. And, you, and you're saying that, hey man, the Lord don't see us. The Lord don't see what we're doing out here. We're gonna continue in our wickedness. Well, guess what? That's why the Lord said we're gonna start at your sanct we're gonna start at a sanctuary first. So you're gonna start with the nation of Israel, which is so-called Black Hispanics and Native Americans. He's gonna start with you first because you would you you purposely you purposely uh, are wicked. Uh, all right, brother. Yeah, man. You're gonna start you're gonna start with Yahweh Shimei Shai, the sanctuary the sanctuary Yahweh Shimei Shai first. So you're gonna start with you Israelites. You um you you um we call like IYC in them. You different kind of camps out there who teach contrary to what the scriptures actually say. He's going to bring death and destruction on you first. All right? Verse 10. Go ahead. And as for me also, my eyes shall not spare, neither will I have pity, uh -huh. but I will recompense their way upon their head. Mm -hmm. So he's going to, so starting with us, well, I say us, I'm talking about our nation. 
All right, he's gonna he gonna he gonna uh, give recompense onto onto the nation of Israel's head, and also onto these other nations as well too. We started with the nation of Esau, who the so-called white man walking up and down the earth right now, the wickedest of the wicked. Okay, he's gonna he's gonna bring up nothing but destruction and death onto you. Okay, this is what's coming. This is the end game. This is what we're telling you. This is a warning onto the elect of Israel. If you hear our words. Come out of this fucking madness that you're in right now and listen, hearken onto the onto the voice of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. This is not gonna go on much longer. We're not gonna see your teachers out here much longer. It's gonna be a famine of the word out here, and you're gonna and, and whatever you have, whatever knowledge, wisdom, understanding that the Lord gave on to you at this point is what you're gonna have to use to get through the times that are about to come upon the earth right now, and, and it's gonna be bad. Okay? Yeah, you hear something? Yeah. Alright, so with that, with that Akim. We're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechak, Kudash. Double honor to our elders and apostles the Great Millstone who rule and teach well. Single salutations to the brothers out there who do put this word in truth and sincerity. And, uh, and, and shalom to all the sisters out there that listen and meekness, quietness, and humbleness as well too. All right? Okay. This is it. This is the last. This, we're, we're almost done with this thing. We're in the year of the Karagma, okay? So with that, brothers, sisters, shalom. Shalom.